How's it going guys? 101 back again. Now today we're going to be continuing some 2K14 news but in all honesty guys there's really not been too much news the last week or so like I mentioned in yesterday's video. So again this video we're going to basically be covering some news that you guys might have missed over the last week or so and if you guys are like me and not necessarily on the 2K14 news websites all day every day Hopefully there is going to be something in this video that is going to be news to you. But before we get into the news guys, a quick note on the gameplay you're seeing on the screen. Once again, got some Smackdown vs Raw 2011 gameplay for you guys today. This time featuring Hollywood Hogan and Goldberg from the WCW days. And keeping in mind guys, with both of these two wrestlers confirmed to be on 2K14, only a matter of time until we can do this match on the new game without actually using any creator wrestlers. But anyway guys, on to the news. So first off, the WrestleMania 12 Iron Man match between Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart has been confirmed, but it's also been confirmed that match isn't actually gonna last the full 60 minutes. And now I think personally, that's probably the better way to do it. Keeping in mind there's gonna be unlockables would be a huge pain in the ass if you missed something and had to restart the match. So this 60 man Iron Man match being shrunk down to whatever length this match is gonna be, it's definitely a good thing, at least in my opinion. Something else from the gameplay that's been released that we've seen, we know in the Edge McFoley match from WrestleMania, a new weapon has been confirmed, that weapon being the baseball bat. Now that baseball bat is said to work just on the mop in the previous games, but whether or not that weapon can be used outside of the WrestleMania mode has yet to be said. So hopefully we're going to be getting some confirmation on that, plus any news on any other potential new weapons on the game, hopefully sometime soon. On the screen now, guys, we have got two screenshots of the WrestleMania Arena unlockable screen. These two shots showing the spaces for WrestleMania between WrestleMania 1 and 29. Obviously, no WrestleMania 30 just yet despite it actually being rumoured to possibly be on the game. I'm guessing that's probably going to come down the line after WrestleMania 30 has actually happened, maybe via some DLC. Something else which is kind of cool is The Undertaker's tombstone pin has been fixed. So basically guys, if you didn't know, on the previous games after you defeated someone via the tombstone, even after you got the free count, your opponent would automatically kick out at the very end. But that has been fixed for 2K14. That was kind of annoying, at least to me, on the previous games. So really glad that one's been fixed. And finally, the most interesting piece of news.